Welcome. Hey, today is one of my most favorite gardening days because it involves a harvest. And today, as you can see, the onions are all kind of falling over and looking a bit done. We are harvesting onions today. Over 200 onions and four different varieties. As many of you, as many of you know, uh, here in the States, we have three different uh, day length onions that we can grow depending on where we are in the country. Uh, long day onions are for the northern states like, uh, like one that I live in, in Michigan. Um, and it's interesting, I did some research on this just to see how long our days and how early they got. Uh, was that by May 1st, we are already at a 14 hour day, day length. So uh, when we grow onions, they start bulbing between 14 and 16 hours a day. So uh, you can see why it's important for us to get our onions in kind of early so that they can get their root systems set up uh, and they are ready to start bulbing. Now this first variety that we're pulling here is candy onions. Now candy onions are an intermediate day length onion, which means they'll start bulbing between 12 and 14 hours. So these really do, with where I live, have to get in quite early. Now you will notice um, that we're pulling out some pretty small onions. And here was the problem here, and this was really uh, user error. Uh, we kind of were putting our compost on our beds a little later than I normally like. And it ended up having a pile down this edge of the bed uh, after our onions had been planted. And as rain came and other things happened, it kind of buried this last row of onions deeper than I would have liked. And unfortunately, I didn't catch that until uh, harvesting them. So we got a lot of really small candy onions, which are very sweet, very delicious. Uh, they will be wonderful roasted whole. They will be wonderful pickled. They will be wonderful just chopped up and put um, on a salad. So these will not on, on any level go to waste, uh, but they just did not turn into the nice three to four inch bulbs uh, that you normally would see from an onion like this. I really should have noticed it sooner because as you can tell, the onion is not sitting at all proud. Now that one was sitting a little more proud uh, and that bulbed up a little better. But when you have to go in for an onion, you know that uh, something is not quite right. So lesson learned. And next year, I will make sure that the uh, compost we're putting uh, as our final layer is very well established before I put the onions in. Now here's our second variety of onions. This is also an intermediate candy variety apple. of onion. Beautiful. This is called candy apple red onions. Uh, these, came, these were much uh, better sized. Uh, again, a lovely sweet onion, which also means it doesn't store great. The sweeter they are, uh, the shorter they kind of store. Uh, but they are really, really good. Uh, we do make a lot of pickled onions out of these. Uh, and again, these will store these will store for probably about four months. So it's not like you have to use them like the day they're harvested. But you're not going to get uh, the real power out of a good storage onion that will normally last you between eight and ten months, which is the next variety that we're going to be pulling. Now one of the things I do like to make out of these uh, beautifully sweet onions are caramelized onions. And uh, I do make a big, I think it's like a 30 quart roaster of these, um, which I will do in a video here later. 
um, and then I can them so they're shelf stable caramelized onions which are just wonderful uh, to cook with and saves you a lot of time when you're prepping a meal. Now here's our third variety of onions uh, and these are Patterson onions and these are these are storage onions. These are a long day onion, so they're perfect for uh, our location. Uh, and I think, like, if you're in the UK, I would guess that every onion you grow there is like a long day onion uh, because you're more north like we are. So I would think any of those onions would be uh, long day. But these will let, these will store now uh, for about eight to ten months, which is lovely, uh, and they're just a really nice, uh, more of a classic onion than a sweet onion. So we will dry these out fully, uh, and you know, uh, once the greens have all gone dry, we will then uh, cut down the necks and I'll store them in really nice mesh bags so they get some airflow uh, but remain nice and dry. Now our last onion here is the Elsa Craig uh, which I have never grown before but what a beautiful big onion. Uh, these are also uh, long day onions, but these are a bit sweeter. So these will probably not store uh, like the Patterson onion for eight to 10 months. But what I'll probably do with these is uh, chop these up and freeze them uh, for what's left when we, I, when we start seeing them uh, begin to fail, we will get those in the freezer and make sure we still have them. But these are, a lot of times, these are used as an exhibition onion because from, from what I understand, these can grow as large as 8 to 10 pounds each, which uh, is maybe not the best for a home gardener uh, for using it in a, you know, a kitchen, uh, but uh, they're beautiful. And so Elsa Craig will always be on my list uh, in the future. So here's what we ended up with. Four pounds of candy, 8.7 pounds of candy apple, 10.7 pounds of Patterson, and 17.5 pounds of Elsa Craig. Now don't forget to tell me about how your onions are doing. I love to hear how your gardens are going and how you're growing this year. Take care. This is Audrey from Real Food Comes Dirty. Bye now.